Hidden Figures, Chapter 3, Past is Prologue. Summary or Main Points. For more videos on the same topic, please subscribe my channel, Learners on Board. Setting 1943, Farmville, Virginia. Characters, Dorothy Wan, Catherine Common, Joshua and Joylet Coleman, William Waldron Schifflin Clayton. Main idea. This chapter highlights Dorothy's work-life balance, her social mobility, and the similarity and difference between Dorothy and Catherine's experiences. It also highlights the importance of family and community in context of Dorothy's chance friendship with Joshua Coleman, which eventually led Catherine to follow Dorothy to Langley. Dorothy worked at NSCA because of the support of her extended family who took care of her four children. Main points or summary. This chapter begins with a description of Dorothy's 12 years of teaching experience and her description as a dedicated teacher. She devoted time after the end of the school day to tutoring students who needed extra help. Dorothy updated her classes with a unit called Wartime Mathematics, teaching the students to apply arithmetic and wartime Russian books and updating classic word problems with airplanes instead of cars. Dorothy finally received a job offer from Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory as a grade P1 mathematician with a pay rate of $2,000 per annum, which was more than twice the $850 annual salary she earned as a teacher. So she accepted the offer. During her, journey, uh, during her journey from Farmville to Newport News, her new job location, she had many questions in her mind, like how would she endure the time and distance that separated her from her children? What would it be like to work with white people? She left her children surrounded by grandparents, dozens of aunts, uncles, and cousins, so their life did not have a major change. However, this decision did complicate her marriage with Howard. In 1942, Dorothy's family rented a house in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. There she had a Negro couple as her neighbors, Joshua and Joylet Coleman, whose youngest daughter was Catherine Coleman. Catherine Coleman, along with her three siblings, grew up in a town in West Virginia. Until settling down and starting a family, Catherine had also worked as a math teacher. Like Dorothy, Catherine's intellectual gifts, particularly her talent for math, had skipped her ahead in school. She graduated from high school at 14 and enrolled at the West Virginia State Institute, which was a black college. A gifted young professor, William Waldron Schifflin Clater, created advanced classes just for Catherine. Catherine received a distinction in her degree in math and French. Court, case, court cases like Murray v. Pearson, 1936, and Gaines v. Canada required states to either provide their black students with separate but equal graduate and professional school programs or allow them to integrate with white schools. West Virginia decided to integrate, because of which Catherine Coleman began graduate studies at West Virginia University in Morgantown. After the summer session, Catherine decided to leave WVU's graduate program for a life as a full-time wife and mother, the call of domestic life winning over career ambitions. Catherine Coleman would eventually find the same chance found by Dorothy Vaughan in the future, following her down the road to Newport News. It's time for quiz. Find at least two similarities and two differences between Dorothy Vaughan and Catherine Coleman's educational and life journey. 
Why did Dorothy have con conflicting feelings about taking the NACA job? What comforted Dorothy and ultimately led her to take the NACA job? You may answer these questions in the comment section. For more videos on the same topic, please subscribe my channel, Learners On Board. Thank you.